Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a device symbol for your Android project using R2. You use exactly the same process that you would use for a Crestron Mobile Pro project, uh, which is for iOS devices. It is super simple. Here I created a new project. I have a processor that I've added, and I go ahead to the Ethernet interface and go to Add an Item. Uh, in here, I will choose the iPhone iPad native symbol as opposed to these uh, legacy connection 1 and connection 2 uh, symbols. This is the new iPad iPhone uh, native symbol that Crestron recently came out with. It has a lot of fixes, uh, especially in regards to connectivity performance. You use this iPhone iPad native symbol for your Android device as well. So I go ahead and click on that, click OK. I now have created a new symbol. I don't need to change any of these uh, parameters in here uh, unless I have a conflict with my IP ID. Um, and as you can see here, I have no conflicts because this is the only device I have. Um, so now I go over to the project or program view and I have my new uh, symbol here, native symbol for my Android device. We are only using digital and serial joins at this time. Uh, a subsequent version of R2 will also support analog joins. Now, the last bit of information here is pretty important. You need to fill out a couple of fields here in terms of uh, the device symbol. One of them is the port number. This is the port number that you're going to use for communication uh, to your processor from your Android device. Um, you will enter this port number into the R2 client uh, once you're ready to, uh, to actually run the program. Project name, this is where people get tripped up, and this is the same issue with Mobile Pro um, uh, with, with Crestron. You need to make sure that the project name is in quotes and the project name is exactly the same name as your VT Pro project file for this device. So I'm going to go ahead and just call this Android uh, Android 1. And again, my VT Pro project file needs to be exactly the same name, Android 1, uh, no quotations there. Uh, passcode is something that you can uh, arbitrarily set. I'm going to use the ever secure 1234. Now uh, that I'm done, uh, I pretty much can uh, go ahead and fill out my joins, uh, save, compile, upload, create a VT Pro project, uh, which I'll show you in a separate video, and uh, we're good to go. We're rocking with uh, an R2 project file.